Hi everyone, it's Alice here and I'm going to show you my Smashbook or journal related to um, Alice in Wonderland. It was I had to do 12 pages of Alice in Wonderland. That was the first one with Alice looking at all the cookies she could eat. This time about um, some kinds of some aspects of uh, scrapbooking, like see me or cut me or washi tapes or papers and stickers, ribbons. So that was um, on the background. You cannot see it, but it's everything. It's always Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. It's Alice in Spanish. Um, it's very. It was very fun to do that one. That was in January 2015 and in February I did another one but I didn't like it so much so I I take some paper and I put it on the background and then I cover everything. So that was the freedom to be the rose of the color you choose. So you cannot be a rose of a red rose or a white rose but you can be the kind of flower you want to be so that was related to the cards painting the flowers in red and that's why I wanted to to change it and to let them paint the flowers or be the flowers as they are that was in February 2015 then comes March 2015 with night and day uh, things you cannot see things um, the same uh, the same in while during the night and during the day. You see things differently. That's why you can you can have nightmares at night, or you can have some some kinds of fears. And during the day, everything gets better with the sunlight, and you see that all the things you were afraid of are just cats and not giant tires looking at you. That was my idea of night and day. Green Alice in Wonderland, March 2015. So to look for um, April we have to go further. April, I don't know where is April in fact. Here is May. I made it in the in not in the proper order. So I don't know exactly where is April. But that doesn't mind. We changed to September 2015. That was um, um, the topic was steampunk or gothic. I chose steampunk. And at the end you can see some little stamps from Alice in Wonderland here. And of course a steampunk theme. That was April 2005. Uh, there was magic is, is to transform letters into an art. So that that two, these two pages goes for all the writers um, we've got that uh, can just with words let us imagine new worlds and new new stories. So that was for April 2015. Here comes June. Uh, what kind of secrets hides the um, does the the hat hide? Because the map hatter is quite mysterious, and of course he has his hat is also mysterious. And well, for me, I wanted to know the secrets that were behind the hat. The next one comes with October 2015, relating to Halloween, but with uh, with some kind of Alice um, topic. So here are the, the cards. And of course, it was a spooky Josiah, because I imagined the cat turning into a witch. And that's why I thought it would be funny to, to have those legs here, and the cards over here. So... We moved into June 2015. Walking between water and the sun was the was a correct writing. 
So walking made me the idea of the um, of the um, rabbit running. In fact, so instead is walking between uh, water and water and sand. But he says, "Hey, I'm not walking. I'm running." So because he's always late. I use that sticker and the and the path. So it was it was really fun. That is very sweet. That was for May 2015. Very sweet. And it was like um, sweet harmony. So I made the um, I made some some kind of um, game between the harmony of the music and the sweetness of the tea and the um, and the cookies. So that was that was it was quite a lot of work, but it was also very fun. So from May we moved to August, August 2015, with Journey. And here maybe you recognize your form to say hello, maybe not. Um, since in August everyone goes abroad or goes traveling, usually on holidays, I wanted to to mix of uh, the Alice's Alice in Wonderland Alice in Wonderland topic with the words just the forms to say hello in different world in different words different languages so we moved from August 2015 to another world Another world was also from the Alice in Wonderland topic, but I don't know exactly which month was it for. So you open those pages and you find yourself in every single world that Alice has been has been to. In fact, in every single world that humans have, we, we put Alice in. It was as, as a superhero from a from a video game or just in. in manga or just to be a puppet or, or in cards like this I color those cards and or zombie because I found I don't know I, I googled Alice in Wonderland and I found plenty 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 of different Alice from Dark Alice or a sexy one or an Alice in a real world so I just wanted to, to show the world how different Alice in Wonderland can be from different kinds of perspectives in our world. So, and in fact you close it with a, with a ribbon and the key, but I left it open because it's quite... Well, I didn't think carefully about that when I decided to, to put the ribbons and close it because if you want to see it, you have to be always opening and closing, and that's why it, that's quite uncomfortable. So from that, we move to a Gothic Alice. That is one more time October, or no, sorry, September, two thousand fifteen. That is, that is a Gothic Alice in Wonderland. I'm not very in to Gothic topics and Gothic things, so in fact. It, it could have been darker, but I found it already quite depressing to have instead of a Wonderland world to have a Wonderland cemetery with a with a laughing cat and th and that girl going around. So I think that was almost almost the last one my last page of Alice in Wonderland is quite sad but I found it in, on, on the internet um, and I found it really 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 beautiful and I wanted it to finish my my story about Alice in Wonderland with an old Alice being, being accompanied with, um, with a nurse down the nurse answers the phone. This Alice remembers old times, and then comes a rabbit, holds Alice's hands, and well, it leaves Alice to a new world, which is in fact quite well, quite touching for me.
at least, because I was working with Alice for a whole year and that was the best way to say goodbye. And on the, um, on the clock we've got gear, the watch, we say Alice came back with us to Wonderland. And, that, and this is the end from 2015 with Alice in Wonderland. So I hope you had fun watching my my pages about Alice in Wonderland and I wait and I wait you in one of my next videos. Bye!